The story begins a few months after the Tournament of the Force. Everyone continued their lives, as if nothing, but there was a detail. Everyone began to be more distant with Goku. Every time he wanted to talk to them, they changed the subject or said they had things to do. Even his own children ignored him. He found it strange that no one paid attention to him since he was the center of attention for one reason or another. For that reason, he decided to teleport to Beerus's planet. He wanted to get away for a while because he felt that no one wanted to talk to him. But when he arrived, he was received by Whis with very bad news. Excuse me, Goku, but by the words of Mr. Beerus, you are no longer welcome on this planet. How? I don't understand! Why is everyone being so weird and ignoring me at all costs? Don't get confused, Goku. I as an angel can be neither good nor evil. On the other hand, Mr. Beerus has a certain hatred towards you. I recommend you leave, because Mr. Beerus will not hesitate to eliminate you if he finds you in this place. So I won't be able to train with you anymore? For the time being, I won't train with you again. It's best that you go your own way and start training on your own. But I still have a lot to learn. I, I thought you would help me train in Ultra Instinct. I'm sorry, but I must insist that you leave. Even if I wanted to leave, I won't be able to. There's no using a large amount of Kai on Earth, so I won't be able to teleport. I understand. Okay, just this once, I'll help you. Whis uses his staff to surround Goku and Kai. This barrier will help you from dying in space and allow you to breathe in it, but it will take me several days to get there. Sorry, Goku. That's not my problem anymore. Now go. Lord Beerus will wake up any minute. Goku sets towards the Earth, but he knew that it would take him a long time to arrive, so he decided to transform into Super Saiyan God. Now he was going at a much faster speed. It would take him about a week to arrive. After a whole day flying without rest, he feels the Kai of many people. He teleports towards them. When Goku arrives, he sees Frieza's subordinates trying to conquer a planet, but Goku defeats them easily, forcing them to leave in their ships. They thank Goku with a banquet after having been able to eat after a whole day. Goku returns to set course to Earth. On Earth, everyone was conspiring to expel Goku from Earth because this was a danger because he revived one of the dangers of the universe. I mean, Frieza. Besides that he was responsible for the creation of the Tournament of the Force and that they had been about to disappear, Bulma contacted Whis and passed the message to Beerus. Beerus accepted Bulma's offer. It was about deceiving Goku to make a trip from which he would never return. Elsewhere, in the palace of the King of Everything, Lord Xenosama, the seal has been broken. We could not contain it much longer. The God of Wrath and Power has been released from the Dimensional Prison. Goku, halfway through his journey, came across Frieza's ship. He was sitting on his kind of throne when Goku suddenly hits the window, destroying it. Everything starts to fly out through it, but a subordinate creates a field around the ship that prevents anything from being sucked out. Wow, wow! I never imagined that the most unbearable Saiyan would be flying through space, let alone running into my ship. Goku laughs. <laughs> it's just so much happened. I heard that you neutralized my troop and pushed them back. That's right. I can't believe you're still conquering planets. You're wrong. I was just planning on gathering some information, but my subordinates got a little out of hand. Frieza laughs wryly. Well, it's time to go. I must get to Earth as fast as possible. I'll let you go just this once. Next time I swear I'll take you out, you damn insect. As you wish. I won't let myself be defeated so easily. Goku continues his way to the Earth. Meanwhile, they had already planned a whole strategy to get Goku out of the Earth and eliminate another threat, and they were referring to Frieza. Because if Goku left, the Earth would be more unprotected, but without the risk of another multiversal destruction, so they decided to eliminate Frieza in the same way. Goku, after a week, manages to reach Earth. He goes to his house and finds Gohan lying on the floor. Gohan! What happened here? It was Frieza. He kidnapped my mom. Goten and the others. Goku thought it was strange, since there was no chance that Frieza would arrive before him on Earth, since he didn't feel Frieza's Kai going at a faster speed than him. But he didn't give it any importance and believed his son's words. Where did they go? He didn't feel his Kai. I don't know. At Bulma's house are the Dragon Spheres. Maybe you can make him teleport you to them. Good idea. Wait for me here. I promise to bring them back safe and sound. 
with contacts Frieza through telepathy, just as he contacted Bulma in Frieza's resurrection. Mr. Frieza, Mr. Beerus orders you to come quickly. Whis passes the coordinates to Frieza, and Frieza rushes over. Since Beerus still terrified the relentless Frieza, and Frieza did not want to be eliminated by Beerus, the god of destruction. Goku summons Shenlong. I can grant you any wish. Just tell me. I will only make one wish. After that, you can go. I wish for you to teleport me to the place where Bulma and the others are. I can fulfill that wish, but with some restrictions. What kind of restrictions? I can't teleport, since those people are at the edge of the universe, and my magic isn't that strong there, so it would take you 30 minutes or so. Never mind, just take me where the others are. All right, as you say. Shenlong fulfills Goku's wish, and Goku shoots off into the sky. Very well. My stupid father fell into the trap. Now everything depends on the others. Finally, we will have a more prosperous future without threats capable of causing the destruction of the universe. After a while, Frieza arrives at the place where Beerus ordered him to arrive. He found Bulma and the others. Beerus was also there. Sorry, I'm late, Master Beerus. This place is far away from where I was. Never mind that. Now, I want you to transform into Golden. May I ask what for? Just do it, unless you want to be eliminated. No! I'll do it right away. Frieza switches to Golden Four. Now, what do you want me to do? All right, Goku is about to arrive. After a few seconds, Goku arrives at the place where everyone was. Damn, Frieza! What do you think you're doing? What are you talking about, you rascal? I only came here because Lord Beerus ordered me to. Don't lie. Gohan said you kidnapped everyone. What are you talking about, you idiot? Beerus hits Frieza, knocking him unconscious. What's going on here? To tell you the truth, I would have preferred to take them out with my Hakai, but they only talked me out of it with a big feast. Guys? What's going on? I don't get it. You represent a risk to the universe, so they'll get you out of the way, just like this other insect. Plus, Xenosama trusts you. That's already too much, so you'll be locked up here for the rest of your life. Vegeta takes a swing, Goku. What are you doing, Vegeta? Be thankful we left you alive. Vegeta kicks Goku, causing him to walk into a huge door. Here, take this worm. Beerus throws Frieza and is grabbed by Goku. I don't understand. What is this place? What is this place? It's like a time room, where one day here is a million years. And there is where the gods train to take their position. But unlike you, you will die of old age. I still think it better to kill you now. But, well, I'll destroy the entrance. That way it will be impossible for you to get out. What are you saying? Goku goes Super Saiyan God Phase 2, then try to get out of that room. Whis, now! Whis creates a barrier on the door of the room preventing Goku from leaving. Please, I don't know what I did to you, but don't do it! See you never. Beerus launches an attack at the doors of the room, destroying an entrance and eliminating any chance for Goku and Frieza to break free. No doubt he's stupid. He really thought that Frieza's insect kidnapped us. They start laughing. Well, stop the show. No one can know about this, much less Xenosama. If Xenosama finds out that we locked Goku in this room, he won't hesitate to eliminate this universe. Frieza wakes up, and after spending a whole day unconscious, Finally you woke up, Frieza! Where are we, insect? And why are you here? They tricked us to get rid of us! Excuse me. Apparently we're a risk to the universe, so they decided to get rid of us. I see. I thought it was weird that that bastard Beerus called me there all of a sudden. But what is this place? This is a time room, uh, where one day outside this room is a million years here. Apparently, this is where the gods train to become so strong. I see. Let's get out of here. You can't! What do you mean? Beerus destroyed the entrance, and you can't get out anymore. I don't know if we'll spend the rest of our lives here or if we can get out, but I won't stand idly by. No matter how long it takes me, I promise to find a way out of this room before I get old. Meanwhile, outside the room, Everyone was still laughing. 
But out of nowhere, all the Z warriors inexplicably start to shed tears. What is this? Why is everyone's eyes watering? Everyone felt a kind of remorse in the depths of their being. The only sane one among them, those present, was Wiss. He did not understand why everyone behaved so with Goku, but he could not be on either side, did not intervene in anything. Just followed the orders of Beerus, but he knew that Beerus would never have minded that Goku was a risk, because he was proud of Goku, and he knew the potential that he had, and Beerus wanted to take it out to have a battle worthy of a god. But despite not being able to be on either side, this has a privilege that no other angel has. This can intervene if Goku was at risk of life. This was imposed by Xenosama because for Goku is very important. Because he was the first friend, he who did not care about the scales and treated him equally. So he sent to protect Goku but very discreetly because if the other angels find out, they could complain that there is no equality and even worse because of an insignificant mortal. Let's go a few moments to the past. Just when Whisk created the energy field discreetly used immortality magic and as Frieza was with Goku, he also obtained it. Because even if billions of years passed, none of them would die. And thanks to immortality, they would not suffer from fatigue or hunger because Whisk's magic gave them immortality. So there was no need to eat. Besides that, in the place, there was no food. It was just an empty world with nothing special besides the passage of time. Having said that, let's go back to the present. Some hours had already passed since Goku was locked up, and Beerus believed that he had already died because only a few hours outside the room were thousands of years in that room. But he still did not know that Goku can live for eternity while he is inside that room. Suddenly, Daishinkan arrives with a very worried face that left Beerus terrified because he had never seen Daishinkan in his hundreds of millions of years in that way. Please, this is something extremely urgent. Tomorrow you must meet at Xenosama's palace. As you say, but please excuse my boldness. But what is it that you are so worried about? That will be discussed tomorrow. All the gods with their respective angels will be gathered tomorrow. Please do not miss. Having said that, I am leaving. The next day, as requested by Daishinkan, all the gods had gathered at the palace of Xenosama. I'm sorry that you had to come so quickly, but the matter is very urgent. This could include the destruction of the universes, even the very Xenosama. None of the gods understood what was going on. Excuse me, Mr. Daishin Khan. Could you please explain better what happened? Because it makes no sense that Lord Xenosama is defeated. He's the creator of everything, and there's no one as powerful as him. Thank you very much for your question. I will soon explain what happened. Perhaps you still do not know, but before Mr. Xenosama, there was another king of everything. This one had created several universes, but were all ruled by force. This god always humiliated the weak and made battles to death every day between the universes. But these battles were not like the tournament created by Xenosama, because he was only about the killing, and the winner was chosen as a soldier for the former king of all. These soldiers were responsible for making chaos in these universes, and when these universes no longer served, this king of all eliminated them and created a new one, until one of the winners of the tournament was revealed to this god. This as punishment locked him in a room of time. They were locked in there for several billions of years, until it reached a point where that room could not stand more, and expelled the winner of the tournament. In case you are wondering, the winner of said tournament was not even the one who had won the tournament. The winner of that tournament was none other than the father of the current king of everything, Zenosama. When he left the room, he saw that his old world was still as he remembered it, because he spent hundreds of millions of years in that room. But in this world, only three months had passed. He went to the king of all of that time and challenged him to a battle. The old king did not understand how he had been able to free himself from that room, but confident that it could defeat him, he accepted this battle. They began to fight to the death, but the old king of all still had some advantage. But in the last moments of the father of Zenosama, he used a technique that he had perfected over millions of years. This locked the former king of all with a very powerful seal, and just before he died, he created a successor. The successor would possess half his strength, and that successor is the current king of all. But unfortunately, a few months ago, the seal was broken, letting leak the wrath of that god. This will has consumed all the universes, so I must warn you, if you think you feel will go or hate someone, out of nowhere, feel this feeling. Don't feel anything, because they're being affected by that king. 
It'd be unforgivable for the gods to take drastic measures being carried away by anger. Although I must say one thing. Apparently the angels are not affected by this, since they don't belong to any universe. This will only affect those mortals, or former mortals, born to any of the universes. When Beerus heard that, he was shocked, because he had let himself go and had unjustly locked Goku in a time room. Sorry for the inconvenience. You can leave now. In a very short time, a meeting will be called to see how everything that is happening is progressing. All the gods return to their respective universes. Hey, Whis. Do you think I could have been affected by that hatred Daishinkan talked about? I couldn't tell you for sure yes or no, but I must insist you would never have behaved like that with Goku. You're right. But I still feel a lot of resentment against Goku. I still don't know if what I did is right, but now I must get to my planet and think. Now let's move on to Goku and Frieza. They'd been in there for a million years. Both of them had achieved extraordinary powers. Besides having overcome their old powers, they were already at a level close to Beerus. I was finally able to perfect Ultra Instinct. It took me almost 700,000 years, but now I can use it as I please. And for as long as I want. Don't think so much. I got great results too. I was able to master a new phase. I call it Black Frieza. Great, let's keep it up. Maybe we can get out if we become strong. Now it's time to move on to the next phase. What do you mean by the next phase? It's time to train our base state. That way when we transform, we'll get powers capable of surpassing the gods by far. You're no fool. I know perfectly well how to train to surpass your limits. Yeah, and the truth is I've had many masters. I've learned a lot from them. For that reason, I'll use everything they taught me to become strong. I don't know how powerful I can become, but I'll overcome my limits. On the other hand, Aldo. Mr. Zeno-sama, what do you think will happen if the Old King destroys the seal completely? I don't know. I created you so that your wisdom would not be surpassed, even by me. You already know that. If the Old King gets free, even I won't be able to stop him, and everything we know will be destroyed, including us. In the meantime... Hey, Whis, do you think I was affected by that anger that Daishinkan talked about? I think so. Even seeing a god of destruction, he was driven by uncontrollable anger. I know. The best thing to do is to fix things. By now, Goku and Frieza should have died. Tomorrow I'll go to Earth and use the Dragon Spheres to revive Goku. That won't be necessary. What do you mean? Frieza and Goku are still alive. That's not possible. They've been in that room for millions of years. Not even their bones should be left. Well, no. Frieza and Goku are still alive. What do you mean they're still alive? Just before you destroyed the entrance to the time room, I took it upon myself to surround Goku and Frieza with Divine Key. That would prevent them from dying. You did what? How could you do that without consulting me? Excuse me, Mr. Beerus, but there were specific orders from Mr. Zenosama. What do you mean there were orders from Zenosama? Zenosama asked me to protect Goku from any danger. Since Zenosama is very fond of Goku, he gave me the task of protecting him, even from you if necessary. If Zenosama finds out what you've done with Goku, there's no doubt he'll be very angry. Besides, he'll most likely eliminate you. It's decided. We'll take Goku out of that room and everything will be settled. Hold on, Mr. Beerus. Let me tell you that if Goku's been training since you locked him in that room, which is most likely the case, there's no doubt now he must be much more powerful than you, and I would understand perfectly if he wanted to take revenge against you. The next day, Beerus and Whis head towards the Earth, and the moment they step on the Earth, they realize that everything is in chaos. The Z-Warriors are fighting each other and destroying the entire Earth. What's going on here? Apparently, they were influenced by the wrath of the old king of everything. Never mind. Where's Bulma? Apparently, Miss Bulma's in there. Hey, Bulma. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to hand over the Dragon Balls. I'll never give you the Dragon Balls. Then Bulma launches her robots. They attack Beerus, but they destroy each and every one of them with his highs. And quickly, Beerus orders Whis to put Bulma to sleep. Search with your staff for the Dragon Balls. As you say, sir. The balls are in the subway. Do you want me to teleport them here? Yes, do it. Whis brings the balls, and quickly they summon Shenron. Mr. Beerus, what a pleasure to see you here. What is your wish? I want you to get Goku and Frieza out of the time room I locked them in. Excuse me, but I can't do that. They're in a different dimension that my magic can't access. I see. Do you have any other wishes? Let me think. And I want you to tell me what will happen in the future. I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to fulfill those kinds of wishes. If you don't want to be destroyed, you better tell me. Okay. 
In less than two months, an incredibly powerful deity will break free from a prison and start wreaking havoc on the universes. I see. That means the old king will manage to free himself. And tell me, is there anyone in this world capable of defeating him? Unfortunately, no. That deity is so powerful that at this moment, there is no one in this world capable of dealing with it. Please, Whis, warn Lord Daishingan about this. That won't be necessary. The High Priest has the ability to travel in time, so he must already be informed of the events of the future. Although we can only see a very few things, but I'm sure he's aware of what will happen. I see. I don't have any more wishes. You can go now. A month later. Everything had become chaos. The universes were already losing stability. They began to collapse, since many planets were destroyed, and this broke the balance of the universes. Goku and Frieza were already extremely strong, to such an extent that with only moving a hand, they would create destruction comparable to 100 destroyed planets. But at the moment of destroying the room inside, in a very short time, it was as good as new. Hey Frieza, we already have a power superior to the angels, or at least I think so. You're right. We've lost track of time and became so powerful that training lightly we created some extreme destruction. Hey Frieza, if we keep training our bodies without training our minds, we might lose control of our powers and destroy ourselves. Maybe you're right. Sometimes I lose control of my power and get carried away. It's decided. We'll stop training our body and start training our minds. It's a very good idea. Besides, if we manage to train our minds, maybe we can improve our key control and use it without physical wear and tear. That's right. We can become much stronger. Tomorrow we'll start our training. <laughs> Let's rest for a while. Suddenly, the room began to shake. What's going on? Nothing like this has ever happened before. Maybe the time room's reaching its limit. It can no longer contain so much power. If we keep training and become even stronger, maybe we can get out sooner than expected. Let's hurry, Frieza. In a very short time, we'll be back in. <laughs> One minute. I don't remember anything about the outside. Now that you mention it, neither do I. I don't even remember how we got in here. We spent so many millions of years training, thinking about getting out. We forgot everything else. But... It matters. I know there's some reason why we're in here. Daishinkan calls another meeting. This time, it's to warn about what is coming. Within a month, the Ancient King will be released from his seal. There's a good chance he'll take control of the entire multiverse. All the gods began to argue because they were affected by the wrath of the King. Shut up, all of you, unless you want to be eliminated before your time. All the gods kept silent. We still have a chance to save ourselves. In the corners of Universe 7 is a special room where each and every one of you will begin to train to have a resistance against that ancient king. Mr. Zenosama, excuse my boldness, but aren't you referring to the room where we all trained for a million years to take our place? That's right, that's exactly what I mean. Beerus was white with panic because he had destroyed the entrance. There was no way to get in. Excuse me, Mr. Zenosama, but Beerus here personally destroyed the door to that room. You did what? With what permission did you destroy something so important? Excuse me, I never thought that room was necessary. It was just a lot of things happened. What exactly happened that made you commit this unforgivable act? Beerus remains silent without wanting to speak. Then Whis begins to tell the crimes of Beerus. Mr. Beerus, being carried away by anger, locked Goku and another guy named Frieza in that room. And to prevent them from getting out, he destroyed the entrance. But rest assured, I used my magic to make Goku immortal. How long ago exactly did that happen? About a month ago. What are you saying? It's not possible for them to still be alive after all that time. Those who spend more than a day in there become uncontrolled without reasoning. I wouldn't worry about that. I'm sure Goku will notice their mental changes and start training their minds. And if they're still training, I wouldn't be surprised if they've already overcome my powers. Maybe they're even close to your father. Okay, if Goku and that Frieza keep training, we might have a chance to win. I wouldn't be sure. A mortal's brain can't hold that much information, so by now they must have forgotten us. Maybe they don't even remember that they once lived outside that room. Maybe they just keep living with the mentality of getting out of there, as if it were an instinct, since they shouldn't remember anything. And how will we convince Goku to fight for us, if he won't even remember us? Don't worry about that. With my magic, I can make Goku remember everything again, but there's a problem. If Goku becomes too strong, I won't be able to access his memory, let alone make him remember his whole life before, unless he allows me to. 
I understand. All right. There's nothing left to do, so we'll leave the fate of the universes in the hands of those two mortals. My best friend Goku, and that other guy named Frieza. Two weeks had already passed since the last meeting. There was no way to control the seal, because it was about to be destroyed. Besides, the power of the ancient king was creating catastrophes all over the universes. Several gods had succumbed to madness because of the anger spread by the ancient king. There was no other choice but to lock them in a dimensional prison. They began to destroy every planet they saw, almost ending the life of the entire universe. But their respective guardian angels stopped them before they caused too much havoc, and locked them in different dimensions used to imprison criminals as powerful as a god. Goku and Frieza were no longer mere mortals who had reached the power of a god. These were already much more, because they became the first mortals capable of overcoming one of the five most powerful warriors of all the universes. In addition to this, they were already at a level of destruction close to that of Zenosama, or perhaps they had already surpassed it, because these are in perfect condition both mentally and physically. Because when they began to train his mind for several years, these accidentally awakened a new power that not even the angels had managed to awaken. For their bodies to support this power, they had to change in several aspects. There was no doubt that they were no longer mere mortals. They optimized powers that positioned them on a higher scale than any living being in the multiverse. After those two weeks, what Daishinkan said was already being fulfilled, since the ancient king was already hours away from being released. Lord Zenosama, there's only a couple of hours left before the old king is released from the seal. I know, but there's nothing left to do. My reign's over. Goku and Frieza didn't make it out of the Room of Time. The only thing left to do is to wait for his arrival and face him no matter if we die trying. My father gave me the task of protecting this world. He can't waste all his efforts. So if I have to die, I'd rather do it fighting for this world. Suddenly, Daishinkan and Zenosama would feel an exorbitant key. It's already late. Managed to get free. But it was not supposed to be released for a couple of hours. Suddenly, they would feel this key meters from where they were. Hello? It's been a long time since the last time I was in this place. <sighs> who are you? I see you must be the son of that bastard who locked me up. Very similar. But I can't remember you. The Shinkan launches himself against the ancient king of all, but he's quickly overpowered by the king. I see. You're not so pleased with my visit. Why have you come? Isn't it obvious? I've come to reclaim my place as king of everything. The one that was stolen by your insignificant father. Zenosama extends his hands, trying to destroy the former king. It's useless, little boy. Your powers of destruction are nothing compared to mine. Besides, your physical strength is no match for that of a puny mortal. Taishinkan gets up and returns to throw himself against the king. But this also gives him a beating. Both are badly wounded and on the floor, so they decide to flee in the hope that Goku would leave the Room of Time. These are teleported to the Universe 7, and they arrive in the presence of Beerus and Wace, wounded. Mr. Zanosama, Dai Shinkan, what's going on? Why are they both wounded? Wace, heal their wounds. This is very bad. Unfortunately, the old king managed to free himself from the seal that Zanosama's father used, and quickly came to claim his throne as king of everything. And unfortunately, there's no one able to stop him, not even me. The worst thing is, is that if he takes control of everything, there's no doubt that he'll destroy all life existing so far and create new universes only by defection and destroy those who do not obey his orders. All right. Now, what should I do first? Now that I was able to regain my position as king of everything, I must first destroy those two insects that escaped. I don't want for any reason to be locked up again, so I'll destroy everything, create new universes and begin to create an army so that it can conquer in the same way the different dimensions. Now let's go back to Dai Shinkan. There's no time left. In a very short time, the ancient king will start with the destruction of the universes. Quickly, let's go to where the time room is. I'll try to repair the entrance and get Goku and Frieza out of there. They're the only hope we have left to save this world as we know it. Those quickly head to the outskirts of said room, but thanks to Dai Shinkan's speed, he manages to get there in an instant. Quick, Whis, help me. This room has been here since before we existed, so I don't know if it'll work, but we must try. They use all their power in the hope of fixing the entrance, but they just don't manage to repair it at all. It's useless. We don't have enough power to fix this room, because this room was created by the ancient king. My power is nowhere near that of the damned. The good thing is that the exit of Goku and Frieza will be much easier for them. Now everything depends on them. 
They're strong enough. But they managed to open this door. Suddenly, the door of the room explodes, and out of nowhere, several planets begin to explode. What is this? The bastards already started to destroy this world! No, it's not that. And out of nowhere, Daishinkan feels two exorbitantly large presences. He turns his head and sees Goku and Frieza. But these were strange, because they didn't look anything like what he remembered. Frieza had an imposing appearance, but that showed his superiority. Instead, Goku had extremely long hair, and was in a phase of Ultra Instinct that no angel had managed to reach. Not even Daishinkan himself. Hey Goku, I know you can't remember anything about your life out here. Goku didn't let Daishinkan finish and quickly grabbed him by the head. But Daishinkan, he could tell that Goku was shedding a lot of tears. I can see that you don't remember, but your subconscious does. Something tells you that you missed being outside, but you don't remember it, right? Let me help you. I can wake up your dormant memories. You're right. There's something that tells me I've been to this place. But despite trying, I couldn't remember anything. Even you look familiar. I understand. Just let me release your memories. But first, I need you to return to your base state. Goku closed his eyes and switches to normal Ultra Instinct. What's wrong? Can't you go back to your normal state? Not since I was able to train my mind. I haven't been able to return to my base state. This is as low as I can go. I see. You got so calm that you adopted that state as if it was your base form. Amazing! Well, now I'll release your memories. Just as he said, Daishinkan releases Goku's memories. It's true. I was locked in here for no reason. Mr. Beerus, why did you do that? Goku inadvertently rushed towards Beerus at such a high speed that he accidentally sent him flying. Hey Goku, maybe you're not used to holding back your power, but you can't go at such an uncontrolled speed. You're right. I'm sorry. Very well. I'll return Frieza's memories to him. No, I can't let you do that. I don't know if you've noticed, but me and Frieza became much more powerful than you. And my calculations don't fail me, even Zenosama himself. So if you give Frieza his memories back, he'll start doing whatever he wants. And he will want to destroy everything. I see. If that's the case, we'll leave it at that. And I can see that you've struck up a sort of friendship with him. Yes. We did understand each other in there, but don't get carried away. As you can see, Freeze is a little more powerful than me. It's very difficult to surpass a prodigy warrior in power. But luckily, we were always level. I was always one step behind him. Frieza notices the ancient king's key. Hey, Goku! We felt it too. Yes. That key's a bit superior to ours. I don't understand what's going on here. The Shinkan explains what happened to Goku. I see. That's why they locked us up. They were manipulated by that bastard. That's right, but don't be fooled. Guy's incredibly strong. Even I couldn't fight him. Don't worry. As long as I'm here, I'll never let him destroy this world. Frieza, come on. Can't let that guy destroy this world. It's okay. I'll help you because you asked me to. Goku smiles. Finally, we'll fight someone other than us. They disappear in Daishinkan's eyes. I was waiting for you. I was surprised when I felt that magnitude of power, almost as powerful as the one who locked me up. But don't believe it. So you're the damned one who was wreaking havoc in all the universes. That's right. I came to reclaim the throne that belongs to me. You're no longer worthy of possessing that throne. How about you leave and disappear from the face of the universes before we tear you to pieces? Do you really think that a couple of mortals like you can face the god who created everything? <laughs> no one has ever been able to defeat me. Ever. Well, we'll be the first. So get ready to die. Hey, Dai Shinkan, don't you think we should go and help Goku? No, we'd better stay here. We'd just be in the way. I still find it hard to believe that a couple of mortals were able to overcome one of the five most powerful warriors in the multiverse. Goku really is something. Yes, but... Let's not claim victory yet. We still don't know how powerful the Ancient King is. Hey Frieza, this isn't going to be an easy battle. This guy's still more powerful than us. But maybe if we join forces, we can defeat him. Stop chattering and let's start now. He launches himself at Goku and Frieza and sends them flying with a single punch. You bastard! Goku and Frieza throw themselves at the Ancient King, but he had a lead, with only Frieza being the one to land several blows. Hey, Goku, it's not time for you to fight in that form. Use your last transformation now. Otherwise, we'll lose this battle. You're right. 
Distract him for a few seconds, please, Frieza. Okay. Goku steps back a few meters and closes his eyes. Suddenly, his air began to grow out of control until he got a huge mane. Now, let the second round begin. Goku joins the battle, but it was so big that they began to destroy everything. The palace of Zanosama had ceased to exist, and with it, several universes. Damn it. If Goku and Frieza continue to fight, they'll destroy each other and each and every universe. Something must be done. The battle of these three titans continued. They were shaking not only the universes, but also other dimensions, because their battle was destroying the barriers between dimensions. And if this continued, there would be no possibility of restoring the destroyed universes. As the battle continued, both Goku and Frieza and the old king were wounded. But the wounds of Goku and Frieza were worse, and they were starting to tire the old king. I must admit, you stopped being mere mortals a long time ago. The last time I had a battle like this was a long time ago. Why don't you join me? So that way I won't have to eliminate you and waste your power. Stop talking nonsense. We never joined someone like you. Because of you, we went through hell. Our friends turned against us. I blamed them all for millions of years thinking they hated me. But it was all because of you. And that makes me angrier. For that reason, I'll eliminate you here and now. These resumed their fight. But now they were already fighting with all this provoked the destruction of more universes. For the power clashes between these titans was too powerful. Lord Zenosama, I will go to help Goku and Frieza. They're the last hope of this world. We can't let them die. It's okay. If you think you can be of help because you've got some plan. As you say, the Shinkan teleports in an instant to the battle site. Mr. Goku, Mr. Frieza, please come here for a moment. They quickly retreat from the battle. The Shinkan heals all of his wounds. Don't worry about your wounds. Fight with everything. I'll be here to heal you. Thank you very much, Daishinkan. If so, I'm sure we can win. They return to the-